Dear students, welcome back in our today's class. Student, today we are going to start our new chapter, chapter number 7. And the chapter name is Fraction. Now students will think why I have jumped this much. Means in last week we have completed our chapter number 3 and today we are going to start chapter number 7. Why I have jumped this much room because there are some reasons, very first reason, the fraction chapter, you all are very much familiar. And the second thing is the concept we are being using in this chapter, already you, you have done in chapter number 3, like LCM, HCM, okay? So it will be easy for you, it will be better understanding for you also the concept and it will be easy for you to do the equations very nicely. Okay, student, that, that is why I'm going to start chapter number 7, Fraction. So, let's start. The very first, today we'll do the exercise 7.1. And what we used to do? We used to do the introduction part before the exercise questions. No? So, the introduction about the exercise 7.1 is very simple. Students, actually, this in this exercise, very common question you deal with, okay? So, let's start the introduction about this exercise. The very first of all, what is fraction? So, as you all know, fraction is a part of a whole. It means, if you will, if you have anything, if you are going to divide it, that is called fraction, parts, but very important thing you need to uh, means understand that is whenever you are going to divide anything when you are going to do the parts of anything that would be the equal half okay if suppose i'm having one pizza very common example we used to take for the fraction pizza if i am going to divide it into two parts so that part should be equal see if I am having pizza, I am going to divide into two parts. This is also two parts. One part and second part. But they are not equal. Means the parts are not equal. So, it should not be like that. So, whenever we read in the fraction, we divide into parts into equal halves. Okay. And now, if I divide into four parts, that will also be into equal parts. So, fraction is a part of a whole and that property you just need to uh, uh, that remember that part should be equal in the fraction. Okay. So, the question we deal in this exercise is, um, I'll explain you with the help of an example. See students, I'm having toffees. See how many toffees I have? I have three toffees in my hand. So, how many total number of toffees I have? I have three toffees, total number of toffees. So, whenever the total number of things we are talking about, the, it will also be represent in the denominator. Right? So, now listen student, suppose I ate this one toffee. So, now the question, your mother is asking to you, how, what part of a toffee you ate? Means, Means somebody will ask you what part of a toffee you ate. So, part means fractions. Mean what fraction of a toffee you ate. So, you ate one part of a toffee. Yes, fraction means one toffee you ate out of three toffees. This is this. But if I say what part of a toffee is left with you. What part of a toffee is left with you? So, how much toffee, toffees you left with you? Two toffees. So, the, in the fraction, how you will write? You left two toffees. You have left with you two toffees out of three toffees. So, you will write two upon three. Got students? So, uh, in the exercise question, you need to understand the question that exactly what is asking. What you are exactly having or what you have left the thing. Okay. So, this is all about your introduction part of exercise 7.1. Students, the very basic thing I hope you already means knowing about it that the upper part is called numerator. The downward part is called denominator. This is called fraction. No. So, these are all the common things. I hope that you already know. So, I am not uh, means, uh, taking much time. 
for these things and the types of traction also we will discuss about but exercise wise means in exercise if we deal with such type of question then we do the introduction about this okay students so this is all about your exercise 7.1 introduction so let's start the exercise question okay so understand it carefully because in the video itself i'll uh, tell you the homework question and every instruction i'll provide you in the video itself so watch the video till last okay Number one, we have write the fraction representing the shaded portion. Student, we have some figures in this question, and we have to write down the fraction of the shaded part. Okay, so let's start. Let A part we have how many total parts are there in this figure? One, two, three, four, five. So in the denominator, the total number of terms should be five. And how many are shaded? Two are shaded portions, so you would, the fraction would be two upon five. Yes. Now let's do. Let's uh, moving forward to second part. In second part, we have total nine parts, and out of nine parts, eight parts are shaded. So the fraction would be eight upon nine. So students, this only you have to keep in your minds. What would be in the denominator? Fine, and the, in the numerator, as per the given question, you will write down the answer. So rest of the part you will do as a homework in your book itself. No need to do in your notebooks. Just complete this question in your books only. Okay, student. Now second question we have colored the part according to given fraction. Now this question is just a vice versa of our first question. Yes, student. See in previous question shaded portion was there. And we have written the fraction, and here fraction is given, and we just write shade the portion. Okay, so first part one upon six means out of six part we shade only one part. So any one of the part you will shade it out. So it would be one upon six. Now second part one upon four. So out of four parts you will shade any one of the part. So in the same manner we'll do the rest of the part. Also, so this question also you will do in your book itself because these one are very simple questions. So no need to do in the notebooks. This will also be a homework for you. Do in the book itself. Okay, student. Now question number three we have identify the error if any. It means the given figure we have and we have to find out the error in these figures. And we have to mention the reason as well. So see students, all these figures you just first of all find out there is no equal partition means there is no equal fraction equal parts are mentioned over there in the given figure it means see rectangle four for they it is divided into four parts but parts are not equal they are unequal in the same manner in triangle as well as in the circle although they have filled the uh, shaded the portion of the given figure as per the given condition means 3 by 4 we have seen there are 3 shaded portion and 1 is unshaded portion it is unequal yes because fraction is called a part of a whole and it should be divided into equal parts but in these figures the parts are uneven they are unequal so it is the error only so the solution would be all these figures they are not equally divided for making fractions so it is necessary that figure should be divided in equal part this is only the condition in the fraction so god student this is the error in the given equation so let's moving forward in our question number four it is what fraction of a day is eight hours means in one day if there are eight hours what would be the fraction for that so you know students in one day how many total hours are there 24 hours yes so the formula would be one day is equals to 24 hours so it is asking about in eight hours if we have eight hours so what would be the fraction so it, it would be 8 upon 24. God student, this is very simple because R relation is there. So we will write down the formula because we know in one day how many R's are there. So you just write down the fraction for that. Understood students? 
let's moving forward our question number 5 question number 5 we have what fraction of an hour is 40 minutes so students this will be the homework for you one thing i want to discuss over here whenever such type of questions are arising in the equation so you just need to think about what condition is given so see here r and minutes r and minute condition is given so you will put the formula for r and minutes and that you already know one hour is equals to 60 minutes yes so they put the formula and according to given uh, equation just convert it into the fraction so this will be the homework so now moving forward in our question number six read it carefully Arya Abhimanyu and Vivek shared lunch Arya has bought two sandwiches one made of vegetable and one made of jam the other two boys forgot to bring their lunch Arya agreed to share his sandwiches to so that each person will have an equal share of each sandwich so students here the Arya is going to share his lunch with his two friends because they forgot to bring their lunch. So he will divide it into equal parts. So, so think about it only. The total number of students are 3. So the denominator would be 3 always. So after that, according to given question, we will write down the numerator. Okay. So let's start A part part is how can Arya divide his sandwich so that each person has an equal share so how he'll do it simply he will divide the sandwich into three equal parts so that each student will get equal share very easy so I will write the answer because it's a statement type question so we'll write in the statement form that is Arya will divide each sandwich into three equal parts and give one part of each sandwich to each one of them okay students now b part we have what part of a sandwich will each boy receive now here is asking about fraction means the above one part was in statement form and that question same question you will just write down in a fraction form that what part what fraction that each one student is getting what fraction is getting yes out of three everyone is getting each one means one part of the sandwich so in fraction how we'll write just we'll write one upon three means one by three part of a sandwich will each boy receive okay students seven we have kanchan dyes dresses means she has to dry and dye means uh, to color any cloth okay and she had to dye 30 dresses and total number of dresses she has 30 and she has so far finished 20 dresses means she has dyed 20 dresses and how much is left 10 is left so student whenever we'll have word problems no so just uh, uh, means slowly slowly you read it out and understand it at that time only when one single line you read then understand it and then moving forward second line so you just make a conclusion one line wise only so at the last you will get very easily the answer okay student so the question is asking now what fraction of dresses has she finished so students in the question fraction is asking about finished dresses not left dresses in the introduction part i told you just understand the question what type of fraction is asking okay what she has done or what is left so such type of fraction only we have to write so i hope this question you understood now the solution students you will do by your own okay so this will be the homework for you Moving to question number 8, write the natural numbers from 2 to 12, what fraction of them are prime numbers. So student prime numbers, what are composite numbers, we already have done in our previous chapter. So here we'll use it. And what fraction of prime number is asking amongst 2 to 12 and what are the natural number? Every number is called natural number 1. To infinite every number is called natural number only so you will just write down the all the numbers coming in between 2 to 12 and then you have to write down the fraction for the prime numbers only okay so let's start the solution how we'll write the solution 
the natural number from 2 to 12 would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 means all the numbers okay and prime number is asking so prime numbers which has only two factors so students 2 is a prime number 3 5 7 and 11 and basically you can say all the odd numbers not all the odd numbers but basically odd numbers only we have to see for the prime numbers okay so these many are the prime numbers so we'll write the fraction of the prime numbers are total numbers are 11 from 2 to 12 total numbers are 11 and out of 11 1 2 3 4 5 5 numbers are prime so the fraction would be 5 upon 11 very simple students you just need to solve the equation very nicely so that each and everything would be understandable okay now moving forward our question number 9 write the natural numbers from 102 to 113 what fraction of them are prime numbers so same question that we have done in our question number 8 but the numbers we have to take from 102 to 113 means all the numbers in, in between and including 102 and 113 so you will just write down and you will write down the fraction for the prime numbers i hope student you will do it very nicely okay so this will be the homework for you you will do it very nicely by your own okay students question number 10 we have what fraction of these circles have cross in them you can say cross or you can say x in them okay so very simple the figure is already given to you you just count the all the total number of circle the total number of circle will be in the denominator and the circle in which you have cross and that number you will write in the numerator so student very simple it is but you will write down the answer by your own same the answer very nicely and write down the fraction for x in the given circle very simple it is so this will also be a homework for you students the last question of this exercise we have christine received a cd player for her birthday she bought three cds and received five other as a gift what fraction of her total cds did she buy and what fraction did she receive as gift Okay, student means two fraction you have to write one for the as a gift and one for just she has bought by herself but she has total cds three she already bought and five she got as a gift so total cd she has eight and out of eight how many she has bought and how many she has a gift only that fraction you have to write you will write the fraction for uh, cds as a gift the fraction for cds that she has bought and the denominator would be 8 because the total number of cds she has actually is 8 understood students so always whenever there will be a word problem again again i am used to say because word problems are very simple but the students are getting confused because they are thinking this much long question it is but no every condition is given to you in the word problem you need to just find out the given term and the asking term you just need to frame a term first of all given what you do and then at the last you will write down the answer so i hope student from now onwards you will not feel any kind of difficulty to solve the word problem so let's start the solution for this question total number of cds 3 plus 5 8 and number of cds she purchased that is 3 and number of cds she got as a gift that is 5 so fraction for cd she has purchased 3 upon 8 and the fraction of series she received as a gift that will be 5 upon 8. So I hope students you got these uh, exercise questions, exercise 7.1. So students, we have completed our exercise 7.1. I hope that you all have understood. Students, now do your work very nicely and send to me the picture as well of your work. Like some students are sending me their work, they are doing very nicely work. So send to me as well on the regular basis. And one uh, important announcement I have to make over here that uh, I'm going to take very soon. 
I'm going to take a test of your chapter number three. So if you have any doubt in previous topic as well as in today's topic, so you may contact to me. Either you can ask in the comment section or you can ask to me in a phone field also. Okay students, so till then, thank you so much. Stay home, stay safe.